Hey, hey, everyone, Snowby here. Bring out the champagne and fireworks because this week, Joke Mod version 3 has landed, and it is a huge one. It has been flirting with us for more than a year now, and we finally get to see what Rizzo and his team have been plotting. This update is for Alpha 21.1 Experimental and the stable version that was recently released. The patch notes took me at least two hours to read through and categorize, so let us start throwing some of that stink in your direction. Ladies, gentlemen, and chickens, this is the turd one. As soon as you power up the mod right from the start, you can sense that this version is going to be a different experience, with the changes in the opening jingle of which there are now five different menu audios. The credit updates and even tool tips during loading have been given some love. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Speaking of odors, Stink has had a number of changes. Think of Stink and Joke Mod as that friendly reminder to stay clean, which, well, can be quite difficult in the apocalypse. The consequences of stink are now a bit more drastic, so already at level 2, your max health will be dropped. Also, thanks to that unfriendly odor, your ability to hit on Jen will also get screwed with. So, your bartering also now gets worse. Once you get to level 3 of stink, you'll have even lower max health and lower bartering. But get this, Feral Sense gets activated. So with level 3 stink, this button goes on. Well, what do you expect? Every zombie can smell you a mile away. When starting the game, you can use the custom Navis Gain map called Jokes Gain. It has a few custom PORs, such as a new library and an arcade. I love the simple roof on some of these custom PORs, a roof perfect for a base. No half blocks, but roofs that allow you to build directly on top. There is even a new trader. Somewhere out there, Trader B-Hole, a distant cousin of A-Hole, twice removed, is waiting for you to come around and say hi. If you don't want to play the jokes game map, you can also use the random world generator to generate a custom map. Just don't use the pre-generated maps. Apparently you will get a lot of errors if you do. So for your map, either use jokes gain or the random world generator. Quite a few things from the old version 2 of Joke Mod have been canned. Rizza has also removed some of the Alpha 21 mechanics and features. Vanilla magazines are gone. The BB gun is gone, Desert Eagle gone, some of the stink meds are gone, and clothing pocket mods are history. This is due to various clothes now already coming with pocket mods pre-installed. So no need to install pockets when, well, they already have pockets. Jokebot also has removed the bedrock impact sound. It has been changed because, well, why not? And it is annoying. Even though the water jars still exist, they have been removed from toilet loot. Empty jars can be filled from all sources by left clicking on water like pools or ponds, sinks and toilets. Yeah, I know the patch notes do say that you must right click on sinks and toilets, but well, it is actually left click, so easy to remember. Speaking of water, Screamer Heat has been removed from the dew collectors. The skill and perk system has been overhauled. The old vanilla attributes are history, so attributes like strength, agility, intelligence are gone. Instead we have these new perk trees. General, firearm, melee, harvesting and well-being are the new sections. All the perks as we know them fit under these five, not just vanilla but the previous joke mod perks as well. However, Rizzo has changed a few and also added a few new ones, such as Knuckle Sandwich which gives bonuses to barehanded fisting, sorry, fighting. As you level the perks, for example, I know Kung Fu, Slap Surprise or Power Right in the Kisser, you will increase your damage, stamina usage, critical chance and ability to dismember. Then there is Dirty Harry. This gives extra perks and upgrades for Magnum weapons, which are now separate from 9mm guns. Finally, there is the new Heavy Metal perk, which is for automatic guns like the M60, minigun and light machine guns. Read the comments at the top carefully, as I first thought that this was a mix-up with the machine gunner perk a few points below. They both deal with 7.62 rounds and also raise your crafting level, but Machine Gunner only does this for assault rifles, so don't get mixed up between these two, which are both for machine guns. Another new feature, 
dotted around the map and in traders is a ticket machine, quite similar to the arcade ticket machines where you redeem your winning tickets for prizes. You don't want to sell your schematics, books and recipes as they can now be scrapped for arcade tickets. Going to the ticket machine you will find many options for quality meds like butt plugs or cyanide pills. And you can also swap your tickets for weapons, books and schematics that you may want to still get. Death has had an upgrade. The vanilla death debuff, this thing that shows up over here, and has certain debuffs connected with it, has been replaced with a joke mod version. When you die, because, well, maybe you were killed by Gary the Shark, but besides the new death sound, you will also respawn with dysentery, receive 25 less experience for 10 minutes, and you will restart with lower food, drink, and health levels. Certainly a lot worse than it was before. Looting has had a number of updates, such as all those cardboard boxes that were lying around in POIs. Well, now they can be looted in version 3. So there's a ton of loot waiting to be found in many of the POIs. Besides searching them, you can also get the usual polymers and paper from scrapping them. Two interesting things now happen at night. First, you gain plus 10 to your loot stage during the evening. So doing quests after 10 p.m. will give you a bonus to your loot potential. However, Rizzo has also made it so that the restore power quests can be done during the day. So you don't have to start the power quest at night anymore. You can do them at any time. The list of added, adjusted and updated weapons is a mile long. New legendary weapons have been added, though in this case, Joke Mod is calling them limited edition. If you want to try and get legendary weapons, then tier 4 to 6 buried quest, flare loot, hidden stashes and Rizco loot chests are the way to go. Another easy one is just remember to kill all those extra tough zombies, as they will also have a chance to drop a limited edition weapon. Man, I love the sound of the limited edition Barrett rifle. Sounds like an elephant gun. I love my spears and the new limited edition spear is also packing a punch with a 70% armor reduction. Rizzo, where the hell is his thumb? Poop sock grenades are contact grenades. They have a special patented formula that allows them to stick to the surface you are throwing them at before exploding. Rizzo has also added explosive ammo, not just for one caliber, but for all of them. Besides the nail weapons, which already had explosive nails, we now also have 9mm, .44, 7.62 and shotgun shells that are explosive. Now my unlimited edition Barrett is even more awesome. Not to mention the M4 or M60. Oh yes, very nice. Rizzo, we are unworthy. Terms and conditions apply. Jerkman is not responsible for using these on horde nights and not responsible for base destruction. Glass shank. Frying pan. The new kitchen knife. Sci-fi gun. Plastic knuckles, shovel spear, longbow, recurve crossbow, balloon sword, boxing glove knuckles, Rizco R17 pistol, bone, 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 and yet another bone, gore sledgehammer. Unicorn Sledge. Even a parking meter sledgehammer. Then there are a couple of laser weapons that Rizzo has thrown in. The submachine gun. Semi-auto rifle.
the carbon. And the pistol, which is an updated model from the version 2 one. It is not mentioned in the patch notes, but I see that the laser shotgun model has also been updated. So laser weapons all around have additions and updates. Besides the many subtle changes to weapons, Rizzo also removed stamina usage when aiming a gun. Any gun. So if you aim a gun and hold the aim, it will not slowly drain your stamina anymore. The rocket lawn chair now gets mad air. What the hell does that mean? Well, you will just have to drive it and find out. Vanilla vehicles and joke mod variants have had their health increased. This will help with those excessive bumps and bruises that you get while colliding with pebbles or paper, especially when compared to vanilla. Here is a handy tip. Are you freezing in the snow biome? Well, Rizzo has made it so that now if you jump into a covered vehicle, it will provide either cold protection or heat protection if you are too hot. Very handy and a sensible update indeed. We have 10 new vehicles added to Joke Mod, besides the gas fueled vehicles like a brand spanky new ice cream truck or a clown car, we have a very healthy lineup of animals that have been dying to offer their bodies for car chassis. There is the hover cow, the bulldozer, a pretty fast shark, A scorpion. 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 And so that poultry is not letting the team down, a chicken. The elephant is a reasonably slow moving vehicle when it comes to speed. But you really want it for its storage. It is sporting a massive 108 storage capacity. However, now you have the ultimate vehicle. As with all animals, no fuel is required to power the unicorn. Look at my horse, my horse is amazing. Look at my horse, my horse is amazing. The unicorn is pretty fast, but this baby has one of the largest storages that I have seen ever in Seven Days to Die, let alone just for an animal. This magic horse is holding a ginormous 140 slot capacity. Moving into a town and cleaning it out for a few days of looting is what this horse is built for. The moon. I think we can say it is looking a bit different these days. Annoying kids have had numerous updates and additions. <laughs> <laughs> there are four annoying kids. One of them has moved on in years and is apparently even more annoying. Then there is also a spider version of the annoying kid. Besides the annoying kids, the clowns have also had worthy additions. A replicating clown. a new feral demolisher clown and a mutated clown.
On my first time playing Joke Mod version 2, a clown crept up to me on my first day and scared the crap out of me. I see now that we have an official quiet clown. Silent but deadly. If that is not enough from the circus, we also have two spider clowns that have been added. Finally, as far as clowns go, to top the list invited to the party, we also have a flying clown. He is also pretty silent as well, so be aware that Pettywise can also bring death from above. If the scars were not bad enough, the ground now has many, and I mean many, crawler versions of the zombies. So, don't be surprised to see Mo, soldiers, nurses, Bo and our party girl slithering up to you. Even Lieutenant Dan has been given a promotion. We now have a boss version of him called Captain Dan. Skeletons can't be set on fire anymore, nor can they bleed, which was a feature that was already there. Then besides the many new skeleton variations, skeletons also get their own gore block once you kill them. This mod has some crazy stuff in it, and Rizzo is even throwing mannequins, Spongebob no pants, and the couch at you. I won't be surprised if the kitchen sink is not next. I mean, the kitchen sink could be a spider zombie and he could, you know, throw himself at you. He has also tweaked many of the zombies so that their ragdoll is better and they have more preferable hitboxes. Especially for those very small and very large monsters. There are now numerous boss monsters that are tougher and take longer to kill. However, they have new loot bags that you really want to get your hands onto. These large white bags have special loot and it certainly makes it worthwhile of a drop when taking down the boss monsters. As I mentioned, the patch notes are a long read and I've certainly not covered many of the subtle tweaks and numerous changes. However, Rizzo has added a journal page of some of the most important updates in version 3. At least take a look at that. However, hopefully this guide has helped you with a bird's eye view of the labor of love that Rizzo and his team have added for your amusement and enjoyment. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.